Hello, welcome. So this video exists purely to record the way that the Fairyland Mini Fee horse butt is strung because I've decided to try to paint this body without taking it apart is going to suck. And I didn't want to forget how it was strung. So I'm just going to start trying to figure out how to disassemble it. I'm going to organize the parts in baggies and I'm going to label them so that I can remember what they are. Um, tail is magnetic, that much I know. So that's easy. Looks like to start taking it apart, it's like a regular ball jointed doll. You pull the hoofs out, the feet, and there's a nub with an elastic. And I'm just going to take this off. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I wanted to see if they were labeled. They are. Looking at the horse, this is left. So the left hoof. And then after the hoof was the fluffy part. And then the lower shin. Um, and then this does come out as well. I'm going to need to do that to paint the armor. And it does say L in it. So they are labeled. Thank you, Fairyland. L on the knee joint. The armor does come off and there is a hole in the armor that helps it connect to the leg. This is what I was hoping for so that I could paint this armor easily. Um, next up is the leg itself. Just pops off the ball socket. And I'm sure this is labeled too, L. That's where the armor went on. So pretty easy to reassemble. I can see why they say don't take it apart unless you have to, because trying to get the armor hole and the leg hole lined up is going to be real exciting. I think my long skinny puller is going to come in very handy when I go to do that. Um, next is the shoulder and um, the shoulder joint on these. They do have ribs like the other um, fairy lawn, like the bunny legs. They have those um, I guess ridges as well. And this has L. Next, I assume it goes straight across. So, C. There we go. Oh, yep. So it went straight across, straight through. It's got the shoulder and some of my hot glue suede. The thigh with the armor. It's kind of stuck. That's the knot. I'm going to start at the hoof again because that knot is not working hoof ankle shin knee thigh and the thigh armor here's the elastic for it all right next up i think i'm going to do the back legs now i'm assuming structure is very similar very tight okay yep so undo the ankle or hoof ankle Shin, knee, thigh, and hip. Same thing on this. Oh boy, yeah. Stringing that, gonna be real fun. Um, I think I'm gonna redo my suading too. I may put real suading in here now that it's actually a part. Just because I noticed, I think I'm like the third owner of this, um, but it's not very old. I think. Vampire Claws came out, what, 2019, if I'm not mistaken? Um, yeah, but even during that time, I noticed that the horse had some trouble standing, and I that's why I hot glue suede it. Just the wear on the joints over time. Same thing, let's see. Ah, okay, that's fun. So the hip-hip joint is, like, in here. I don't, I think it's threaded through. So that's good to know. I'm gonna do this right leg. Okay, all these things are labeled. I'm so glad. When I read the disclaimer, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna take this apart and I'm going to hate myself. Okay, so now we have the body. And um, so first thing I noticed this hip joint here, it flexes back and forth, which is cool. There's an elastic going through it. Um, 
I mean, the tail looks, there's a hook on the tail. There's an elastic on the front. So, um, I mean, what's the best way to take this elastic out? I think it's one elastic that runs from the butt to the chest. And I'm thinking going from the tail could be the easiest, but oh my God, it is so tight. I'm gonna use these forceps to kinda see if I can take this elastic off the front. That didn't go over well. I guess this will be everyone learn from Jamie's mistakes. Okay, so that was a little more successful. Oh, all right, so I've got the clamp in here with some wiggle room on the elastic and that will allow me to pull the elastic off. Okay, so you can see where the elastic was hanging on there. Oh man, there we go. So that's gonna be fun to put back in. I'm gonna undo these, the power of clamps. Elastic went back in. So I'm going to try to be mindful about the way I pull this apart. Okay, so here is the front of the horse. You can see my Hakus waiting, the armor. Okay, so this top part, magnetic, we knew that. Um, so you can do the wing attachment if you have wings. Oh boy. I don't know about these. They may be glued on. Oh God, I don't wanna break them. Oh, they pop out. Oh, thank God, okay. <laughs> so this side, the side armor does pop out. It does look like they had a dab of glue on the, where the thing went in. Just a dab, enough that I could pull it off. That scared the crap out of me. It is labeled left, and I'm sure this is labeled right. I'm being very careful, because as you know, resin is brittle. I'm just trying to wiggle it. Currently, the armor on the back is being held by the elastics, but the knot is right there, which tells me I need to undo this butt hook on the tail. So luckily it's loose, so you can pull that out. Ugh. And they have the world's tiniest hook. Ugh. Dang you not. Always on the wrong side of the hole. <clears throat> uh, can it go through? Ah! Okay. I don't know how that's going to help me long term, but uh, I was able to pull the knot out the top. Stick my finger in here and just try to get that elastic to come back through. Okay, here's the back. There's the hole. Look how thin that is. Glad I didn't try to manhandle that. It's not thin all over. I can just see light through certain parts. Um, okay, so there's that. And all we have left is to get it through the teeny tiny hole. Holy crap. Teeny hole right there. I think you have to pull the the tail nub off. So, all right, whatever. So if you pull the tail off, it'll make the back plate removal a lot easier. Um, there is only one elastic that goes through the body. Okay, so the joint is sitting in here. Um, it is sitting with the, the round part up top and the cutout part on the bottom, and it just pulls out. Okay, so there is a, a B with an arrow. So this is the back up. So it would go in the butt. Where the tail is, is the back facing up. The other side of this says front up. So you can't, you can't get that wrong. So, butt, front. <laughs> so thank you for watching this. I'm sure I will watch this again when I put it back together. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed and happy dolling.